Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I just pray today, Lord God, for each and every one here, Lord God, within the sound of your of their hearing, Lord God, that you would convey to them what it is you desire for them to know in Jesus' name. Praise God. God bless you. A couple of weeks ago, we learned from our pastor that no good thing dwells in the flesh, and that good does have a source, and the source is God, because God is good. And you can reference Psalm 136 for that. So today, there's a question that I would like to ask you. When is the last time you had a good cry? Cry means to make loud vocal sounds or utterances, to, shout, to sob, shed tears, and expressing sorrow or pain. It means to weep. It also means a loud utterance or an urgent appeal or plea. We all cry. Crying is a very good indicator that you have arrived at a place or state of either joy, sorrow, repentance, rejection, humility, and helplessness. There are many things that cause us to cry. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, you don't have to turn there. Um, I'm going to read a couple of passages. David and his men had been invaded and their city burned and their families had been taken hostage. Verse 4 reads, Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. I'm going to skip to verse 6. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his son and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord. But David encouraged himself in the Lord. Psalm 86, if you would turn there. Here we begin, again we have David, and this time he's praying, crying out to God. Um, I would like us to focus on the way that he's crying to God. I'm going to go through this really quickly. Bow down thy ear to me, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Thou art my God, save thy servant that trust in thee. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord, neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord and shall glorify thy name for thou art great and doest wondrous things thou art God alone teach me thy way O Lord and I will walk in thy truth unite my heart to fear thy name I will praise thee O Lord O my God with all my heart and I will glorify thy name forever for great is thy mercy toward me for thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell O God the proud are risen against me and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul and have not set thee before them but thou O Lord art God are full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering, plenteous in mercy and truth. O oh, oh, turn unto me and have mercy upon me. Give strength unto thy servant and save thy son of thy handmaid. Show me a token of good that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed because thou, O oh Lord, hast hoped in me and comforted me. I went through that pretty quickly, but when you have time on your own, it's good to just go back through that. He is crying out his distress to God. But I wanted to focus on it because at the same time that he is crying out his distress... He's acknowledging God as God. In Isaiah 4, 43, 26, it says, put me in remembrance and let us plead together. A good cry is when we can cry out to God and remind him of all that he has promised and who he is. The point of a good cry is that right in the middle of your distress and you're pleading to God, we could on purpose redirect and refocus our utterances to God because when we do that, that can become worship. And worship can bring you into his presence. And when we pray or cry the word of God in faith, the angels of the Lord who walk into the voice of God are dispatched to bring about changes to our circumstances and to us. We have been changed and are being changed and transformed. Psalm 34 6 says this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and delivered him from all his fears. When you cry to God, surrender can come. When you cry to God, breakthroughs can come. 
When you cry out of a pure heart, miracles can come. Amen. When you cry out unto God, deliverance can come. Why? Because God is the God whose ears are open to the cries of the righteous. Amen. Amen.